All right, we have our little fire pit. We have our sleeping bag. I'm going to beat I'm Jack. Knife here, Daddy. Let me see your knife. Let's see your knife. Oh, that is a good knife. Oh, that knife looks good. Okay, put your knife down. If we see a coyote, we're I'm going to chop his face off. Okay, we're not going to chop the face off a coyote. Now look, we're out in the woods. We're out in the woods. And we got our little fire pit fire going. And Jack's got his shoes warming up. And Alex got his shoes warming up over there. We got our little uh, light. It's got kind of a cool eerie effect. Kind of cool. And we have our ignore the sound of the uh, cars going by. We've got our little shelter out here in the woods, which is our backyard. And we are learning. All right, you guys. You Hey, lay down. For real. Be a hey, be good or no story and no more survival training. Okay, we're gonna tell a story of Think About a Crane and the Headless Horseman. Most people call it Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horseman, but Jack and Alex know it as Think About a Crane and the Headless Horseman. <clears throat> so I heard this story before. Oh hang on. Hang on, so we're gonna tell a story. Let me just talk real quick about the four parts of the survival continuum. I tell you. Air. Then. Shelter. Then. Food. No. I mean, water. Then. Food. Right. You can last more or less three weeks without food. You can last more or less three days without water, depending on where you're at. You can last more or less three hours without shelter, depending on where you're at. You can last more or less three minutes without air, depending on where you're at. So that's your survival continuum. Air, shelter, water, food. Where are you on the survival continuum? Are you drowning in a river? you got three minutes. Are you in a burning house that's filled with smoke? you got three minutes. Okay, you're good with that? Are you in the desert? You better uh, get shelter. you got about three hours. Get on the north side of a sand dune, or uh, you know, if you got a, a jacket or something, Dig a pit three, three feet down, cover it with your jacket, and uh, don't let the snakes curl up with you. If you're out in the woods, well then you build a lean-to and a little fire pit. And then we're, you're good not, to go. we're not really in the forest. We're not we're really just, in the forest, right? We're just in our backyard because you can see behind we have a house. Yes, but, but let's just pretend we're out in the forest and we're surviving and we're talking about, think about a crane and the head of the horseman. Yeah, so we, a long time we ago. See a lot of trees. That's right. All right, you guys listening? It's actually you listening? Yeah. Here's a story. A long time ago, about the time when your grandfather was a little boy, there was a school teacher named Ichabod Crane. Think about a crane. Okay, his name was Think about a crane. Right, I'm gonna finish. Think about a crane. All right, I'm going to finish telling the story. Oh, get, say good night, guys. All right, good night. Good night, good night guys. Good night. Good night.